everybody. Welcome to Attack with Larry C. I'm your host, Larry Christensen. And uh, we've got some great examples of uh, fine attacking chess today, notably by Vadim Svagantsev from the, the uh, Russian Team Championship held in Sochi um, just this past uh, week. And before we get to that excellent game, um, actually I'm going to show a little... Um, Nice little effort from Boris Spassky from Sochi, 1967 tournament, um, 49 held 49 years ago. Boris Spassky was, of course, then at his prime, and this uh, nice little combo from old Boris uh, demonstrates why he was a one of the most feared attacking players on the planet in 1967. His opponent, Kik Longeveg, um, a, a Dutch IM. He has, he has many fine victories to his credit, he's, but he's seriously, he's probably better known as a uh, worthy opponent to the likes of uh, Boris Spassky, Mikhail Tall, Jan Timmen, um, Karpov, many others. And uh, so here he is uh, facing off against Boris Spassky, and this is the here's the position after White's 23, 23rd move, knight d4. Now, Black has no virtually no weaknesses in the position. His rook on a8 is underemployed, but uh, he looks like a fairly sound position. White does have a menacing cast, uh, poised to attack quickly, but if Black keeps his head on straight here, he should survive the onslaught. But you don't survive by playing moves like what um, Longaveg did here which was the decentralizing knight a4. Knight on the rim is risky, not just dim. And, of course, Spassky, you can, you can bet, rest assured, he gets right to work. What should Black do here? Um, he should have played f6. That's a multi-purpose move. It provides a path, a retreat path, for the Black Queen, if now knight f5, black can survive with queen g6, rook g3, and queen e8. And avoiding most of the danger here. Now white does have still a rather promising looking position, but uh, I think black should be able to survive this. But instead, Longaveg, of course, played knight a4, and now disaster soon befalls him. Of course, knight f5, attacking the queen. Everybody, all the stars are aligned on g7 now. Spassky, a strong advocate of rook lifting, aggressive rook play, game after game after game. And uh, the following combination now is uh, child's play. Does black have a defense? Not really. If queen, let's say queen f4, bishop takes g7 is still ruinous. Yeah, but then bishop takes g7. Why just, he makes Luft and drives the queen away. And if the queen goes to uh, c7 or someplace, of course, queen g4 is overwhelming, to say the least. So Longaveg, his hopes now lay in queen c6, but that's another piece Far removed now from Black's king area, Spassky goes right to work with a very well calculated sack. Bishop takes g7, and his initial point is, what happens on queen takes c7? Well, then Boris had planned knight h6 check, king takes g7, rook g7 check, g5 check. Of course, now if king h8 mate on g8, and if king takes h6, queen h5 mate, <clears throat> and if if king f6, white forces mate with rook f5 check. King g7, and now the other rook joins the party to deliver mate. 